beautiful people, it's me, Davy Baby. Today I'll be showing you how I achieved this skunk stripe Shigo inspired bob. <laughs> I ordered my hair from Icy Hair off of AliExpress and it was in the length 12 inches. This is a 4x4 HD lace wig in 150% density. As y'all know, the packaging came with a bunch of goodies. I got some press on nails, a makeup sponge, a wig cap, a pair of 3D lashes, and a mask. I got all this including the wig for under $70. So this unit comes with four combs, two on the side, one in the crown, and then one in the back. It also has bands in the back, so if you wanted to make the wig a little tighter, you could do that. As you can see, we have some dark knots in the closure area, so I'm going to bleach the knots using the Quick Blue Bleach and 40 Volume Developer. I mixed about 3 fourths of the Quick Blue with about half of the developer to make a not so runny consistency on the closure. I applied it fairly thick to make sure it penetrated through the hair and left it for about 15 minutes. I rinsed off the bleach and toned the hair with purple shampoo which left us with this. After I'm done washing the lace, I go ahead and start parting the patch that I'm going to dye green. I forgot to mention, please make sure you have your gloves ready. Like, this is, you're messing with bleach so this is pretty... I don't want to say dangerous, but this is something you should be mindful of. Like, this is not good for your skin, so don't do it without gloves like I did in the beginning. After I part the hair, I go ahead and coat all of the strands in the bleach mixture. I checked back about every 15 minutes to make sure the hair was still bleaching okay. So after about 50 minutes, the hair was like this golden brown color, and I'm not gonna lie, I got a little scared, but so I went ahead and rinsed it. Do not forget to tone the hair after you rinse it, and if you can, take the time to let it sit for a while to make sure it truly soaks into the strands and you don't have that brassy color. Once I'm done rinsing the wig, I go ahead and apply the green Adore dye to the hair. Because this was my first time, I wasn't too sure on how to apply the dye, but I think a rat tail comb does best when you're trying to apply it closer to the closure. Just make sure you're being generous with the color. I had to go back a second time with the dye after washing the wig because the first time there wasn't it wasn't as vibrant and I felt like it needed another pass. So here's what the closure is looking like after I rinse out the color. I'm not gonna lie, I was a tad heavy handed. Um, so that's why you can see like a couple of splashes on the closure, but that's okay. Once I have the color I want, I made sure the whole unit was blow dried. This is what it looks after I reapplied the color and dried it. It's brighter than what I expected, but it's still super cute. Like, I would have expected more of a darker green, but this is still super cute. I love it. I went ahead and installed the wig off camera. Given that this was one of my first installs on myself, I feel like I did a pretty good job. Like, the only thing I can say, y'all, I can't cornrow. I don't know if y'all know that about me. I can't cornrow. So I know the braids underneath were not as crisp, and it's like, mm, it could have been a little closer to the scalp. So I'm just straightening a couple of the pieces in the back. I usually struggle with the back. And here is the completed look. I'm so proud of how this turned out. Like given that this is one of the first installs I've done myself, especially with color, I'm so proud. Let me know what you guys think. And if you would like to see more hair content, let me know. Till next time. Bye.